Hello, I'm Lars. Are you looking for the holy grail of tennis rackets? Do you want to have a racket that feels like an extension of your arm? In this channel I will help you tinker your tennis racket to the perfect spec for you. You will not need any expensive equipment, you just have to be creative and follow me on this channel where I will guide you in creating your own swing weight measurement tool, how to customize your rackets and how this changes the performance and the feel of your racket. With customization you can change all of the specs and feel of a racket. What I will also do in this channel is test different rackets, but differently to how other channels do it. I will match every racket spec to my preferred spec, so I will only tell you the real differences between rackets that cannot be changed. I'm going to post one video every other week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today I'm showing you how I measure the different specs of a racket. In this case, I will measure a Yonex Vcore SV98 that I bought. To measure the swing weight, you need four things. You need a static weight of a racket, you need the balance of a racket, you need the distance between the butt cap and the top string of a racket, and you have to measure what the time is for one swing of a racket. So I made this board with some metal ruler and some other metal parts uh, to measure the different things. The scale is uh, um, accurate to the tenths of uh, a gram. And um, uh, on the right you see a metal uh, bar uh, that holds the butt cap. And on the left you see the little metal piece that on the right side of that middle piece is exactly 60 centimeters away from that uh, bar on the right. And I use another piece of that metal ruler with some metal to measure the distance between the butt cap and the highest top string. The top string uh, distance you need because that is uh, the string that is hanging on the little two hooks on the left side of this board when the racket is swinging. And calculating that, you just need your smartphone, preferably with a slow motion um, uh, camera, because that will increase the accuracy of your measurement. So these are the uh, three first measurements of the Yonex. And the next video I will show you um, is of course the measurements, the time measurement of the swings. The fourth measurement that we need is the time of one swing. To do that as accurately as possible, I do multiple swings. I mostly use 20 swings and I use a slow motion camera on my smartphone. And I use an app that I will show you after this video, how I can uh, pinpoint the first frame and the last frame. And then the app gives me the uh, time between those two frames uh, that I can enter in this sheet. So here you see the racket um, hanging on the top string of the racket and I use also a ruler um, in the picture so that I can really see what is the, the, the frame that the racket is swinging the furthest to one side. This video is now finished and I will start up the app. To get the exact time between the first frame and the last frame in those 20 swings I use a video stopwatch app, which you see here. It's called Seconds Count. You can find it in the Play Store. You can um, tape the videos with this app, but I prefer to uh, import the videos into the app and then use, uh, use it to calculate the, uh, the, the, the time between the first and the last frame. I've added the video already. And I'll continue on my phone because that is easier than on the screen. Let me position it a little bit better. Um, use this slider to get to where the first swing starts, is around there. Let's zoom in. So that's about the beginning. 
you could really go frame by frame with the left and the right um, arrow which I normally do and find the last swing that is around here and say this is the finish offline I really got the first and the last uh, frame of the video and this uh, time that you see here that's what we have to enter in the sheet divided by 8 because that is the slow motion um, multiplier of my phone and here you see the swing weight of uh, 327 so you measure the static weight you measure the balance you measure the distance between the butt cap and the top string you let the racket swing for 20 times measure the time calc uh, put it in the sheet and you will get the swing weight the swing weight the balance and the weight these three uh, specs uh, will define how the racket feels how it swings how much power it has and uh, all those different attributes I will go into in uh, the next videos another measurement that is very important that you can um, calculate with these three specs is the MGR over I this number here um, represents how whippy the racket is or how solid it feels through contact with uh, the mass the balance and the swing weight you can start customizing your racket in this sheet you see that I uh, if I add 11 grams behind the butt cap it will add mass it will lower the balance and um, you will not get any additional swing weight at the top of the grip which is about 20 centimeters from the butt cap if I add one gram you get a little bit of swing weight but that, that's barely noticeable the MGR over I will increase um, the balance will also lower a little bit not much because it's closer to the center of uh, your racket anyway and in this way you can add one gram at six o'clock and one gram at twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock you will have the highest increase in swing weight of course and I will explain that in, the, in, the, in one of the next video videos. I hope you um, are encouraged by this to start customizing yourself and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you.